Good morning, YouTube. Christy and I are sitting outside of West Virginia. We can see the hills and the mountains in the background. We're heading into Hatfield McCoy. We're headed into Bluefield, West Virginia, Trails Inn, Buffalo Trails Inn cabins to ride the Hatfield McCoy trails. So we're on our way. We're gonna bring you along with us. We're gonna have a good weekend, lots of fun, lots of riding. We've got guides for both days. And so we're looking forward to it. We're excited, so let's head on. We are staying in the Moonshine Run cabin. We're at Buffalo Trail Cabins. It's a neat little place, restaurant. Quaint little place, bathroom, little kitchenette, upstairs loft. Friday morning, Christy and I are headed out. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. <laughs> you look like woo -hoo. <laughs> Cold, she said. Daniel Osborne is our guide for this day. Uh, the name of his uh, outfit is West Virginia. It's Backwoods Tours, West Virginia. Awesome guy. Highly recommend him. Did a great job for us. We had a blast. This is our first time on the trail, so we wanted to get a guide. This was a stop we made. Uh, Daniel wanted to show us this uh, water that's being pumped out of a coal mine and you're going to see it right here as it's coming up. <laughs> the trails on the Hatfield McCoy system, I mean, as you can tell by this picture, they are wonderful riding, well maintained. Of course, we're riding green and blue trails most all day. We did get on a lot of outlaw trails. Uh, they're not as maintained or not maintained. Uh, can be a little rougher, a little rutted out. Also about getting a guide. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you don't need a guide. My wife and I, this is our first time to ever go. We wanted to ride and not have to worry about where we're at. Let somebody else worry about that. But we also wanted the experience of going from town to town and riding through these towns and so to do that it seemed to us you got to ride a lot get on a lot of outlaw trails and connect to some different Hatfield McCoy trails and so on to get through these towns plus not all of the roads are ATV friendly most of them all are but some of them aren't so like your guide he's going to know where you can ride through town and where you can't and so it was just a neat experience having a guide, not having to worry about it. Let somebody else just do all that and you just set up here and drive and ride. Also, this has been the Pocahontas trail system that we have been on first. This is an old coal mine shaft, 375 foot deep. You can feel the air coming out of it. I'm telling you, this is just wild, man. It is the most, if you like ATVs, this is it. And good looking women. <laughs> this is a brand new Honda Pioneer 1000 in front of me. Lots of switchbacks right here, as you see. Uh, had a little trouble making them in the four seater Talon. Had to back up and uh, make a second run at them several times.
pinnacle trail system. We were all the time seeing bunches and bunches of side-by-sides, four-wheelers. I mean, they are everywhere, thousands of them. And one of the guides told us, told me, if it wasn't for you guys, there'd be nothing here. You have saved us. And so I'm saying that to say that, you know, when going into that area, everybody is just super friendly, super kind really welcoming and Christy and I really enjoyed paying these people, tipping these people and helping them with their livelihood because in return they're going to give you outstanding hospitality. It's very rare on these trails that you're ever on the flat. You're either going up or you're going down or you're sideways to one side or the other. You're never ever on the flat.
Looks like they would have pulled over and not right in the middle of the trail and blocked it. We started out in the morning riding Pocahontas. We rode uh, Indian Ridge. We rode Pinnacle, tons of outlaw trails. This tour Daniel took us on, I mean, it was awesome. And you can see just every now and then there's just trails going off everywhere. And if you're not really familiar with the area, I could see how it you could easily get lost and so we really enjoyed having a guide. We just came off of the end of a trail and Daniel is taking us now. We're coming into a town. I don't remember the name of this town, but you can see we're going to ride right through the middle of this town. It is so cool to do this and Daniel's taking us through this town to pick up another trailhead. There's no way Christy and I would have found this on our own and known how to have done this. So you can see here we're picking up another trail right here and going up and the camera does not do this justice i mean this trail right here is headed up wow it's straight up also this is the warrior trail system I know it's hard to tell by camera, but we never got over 20 mile an hour riding on these trails. Most of the time we were running 13, 14, 15 mile an hour. Uh, 
sometimes you know on a flat straight stretch we would maybe get close to 20 but it was just a very easy pace Come in on you any of it? No, it looks like your boots are wet. How do your boots look wet? No, it's just shiny. Oh, they're just shiny. Uh oh. This a big one? That's a little deep. It was really neat riding these trails with no leaves on the trees because you were able to see the layout of the land, you were able to see the mountains, they wasn't obstructed by the leaves or anything, it was really beautiful. Now, as you can see here, it is getting dark. And by the time we got in off of the trails, it was pitch black. I told my wife, it was the coolest experience. And I told her, I don't know how many forums I've read of people saying, I'd love to ride at night. I'd love to ride at night. Guys, I'm gonna tell you, Daniel picked us up at 8.30 in the morning and he dropped us off at 8.30 that night. For what you pay for this tour, you more than get your money's worth out of this. It was so cool riding these trails in, in the dark. I don't know if you could tell or not from me narrating these videos if I had a good time or not. It was awesome. If you've never been, go. Hire a guide and enjoy it.